Dive going back to the M news. Uh, I have to. Uh, YouTube uh, has, uh, you know, recently let me know I've been doing too much matched third-party content uh, review, so I need to start stop doing that. And I had to delete a lot of my videos, so I, I'm gonna have to redo all of these videos. So here we go. I'm gonna start off with my uh, first review of that uh, story. Uh, it is this is the end. Um, now I have the movie here. It's been a, it's really a while back to, during 2013 when this came out. So I'll get started with this is the end. Uh, this is the end. It stars uh, Seth Rogen, also directed by Seth Rogen. It stars Jonah Hill. Jay Burchill, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, and Michael Cera, and also as well as James Franco. I'm not sure if I said him, but anyway, you got all these actors who uh, obviously uh, the movie starts out with uh, Seth Rogen and Jay Burchill going off to James Franco's party, where uh, during that time uh, the apocalypse happens. The people, the biblical apocalypse happens. So if you are a full-on Christian, and if you're like me you might consider this kind of uh, an insult. And I can guarantee you this now, if you watch this movie, you might think of it as an insult, and I kind of did. But if you take that aside, even though it's really hard to do that, it was really hard for me to do that, uh, you can see a good comedy there, and it's a really funny movie. If you love movies like Step Brothers, uh, The Hangover, and movies like those, you, you're probably going to love the hell out of this movie. Uh, it is probably going to rank up as one of the highest comedies of the year. Uh, from what I've been hearing, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues is one of those also. Uh, but yeah, this is the end. You have all these actors, and uh, they are trying to survive. They're doing whatever they can to live in the apocalypse. You know, they're not killing. They're actors. They have no idea what they're doing. Uh, so it's kind of funny to watch them go through something like a very terrible event like this. And, uh, you know, you get you, you everybody is really trying to like each other but it's just not working out everybody like Danny McBride between James Franco and Danny McBride you can tell there's you know there's not a really good relationship there and uh, Jay Baruchel and Seth Rogen's character are like best friends are trying Jay Baruchel's character wants to be like Seth Rogen's best friend when everybody loves Seth Rogen so everybody's you know complimenting Seth and everything especially James Franco and Jonah Hill they're all you know saying hi Seth and you know everybody loves Seth but everybody hates Jay and, you know, Jay's the one who's pulling out the Bible and stuff, saying, you know, this is the key to what's happening here. And everybody, of course, ain't going to believe him. You know, they're going to call him crazy and stupid. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just a really fun movie to watch actors, real actors who actually are playing themselves, go through a, an apocalypse. It, it, I never expected it to work out as well as it did. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this at the end. It's probably one of the most, it's one of the best comedies of the year. Uh... It's a really enjoyable movie. I think all the guys in the movie, they're all enjoyable. They all work together fine. Uh, my favorite of all the guys are probably Craig Robinson, who I felt was the most funniest out of all of them. I, I can't get that scream out of my head if you've seen it from the trailer. So yeah, this is the end. I, I recommend it if you are a huge comedy fan, especially of the actors in the movie. If you're a huge fan of those, one, either one of those actors, I would go check it out. Uh, it's on Blu-ray and DVD right now, as you can uh, see right here. It's on Blu-ray and DVD. So yeah, I would check that one out, guys. I'm going to give This is the End a B-. minus. Cut away from the, you know, only because I had a problem with the biblical uh, thing going on. It's still a great comedy, and it's still a good movie. It's still a good movie. It's just, you know, the biblical stuff. It, I think they could have done without it. But other than that, you got a good movie here. So guys, check it out. Like, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of This is the End. What's your favorite actor out of that whole movie uh like down below i mean comment down below subscribe to this channel guys and thanks for watching this video Sunday.